Life in Taiwan can be hard on migrant workers. Today, we take a look at life in Taiwan's harbors for the thousands of fishermen who come here from overseas. The fisheries agency is trying to improve living standards by building washrooms and rest buildings with prayer rooms. They hope the new facilities will make it easier for fishermen to get off their boats and integrate with wider Taiwanese society. When fishermen from overseas come to work in Taiwan, they often live on their boats. But facilities are very basic, and some don't even have a place to shower. We often have fishermen showering at the side of the street or on the deck of their boat. Sometimes they're having cold showers in winter. Incidents like that have attracted public attention. Scenes like this have emerged again and again. Human rights activists are concerned, and Taiwan is gaining a reputation as a country that discriminates against migrant fishermen. Aside from taking care and improving their physical health, there's also the mental health side that we need to pay attention to. For example, health care. It's not just living on a boat. They can come and live their lives on land too and reclaim the image of a person. The fisheries agency has now built washrooms at all the big fishing harbors to help migrant fishermen have an easier time coming on land. By the end of 2022, 32 such washrooms should be complete. There are also plans for 14 rest facilities with integrated prayer rooms, so fishermen have a safe and comfortable space to practice their faith or simply slow down and breathe. The harbors with these facilities already cover some 59% of the fishermen in work. Of course, we still have room for improvement here. We predict that by the end of the year, we can achieve 90% coverage or more. We are doing our best to build facilities at every harbor with fishermen. There is also a new interactive service platform online for migrant fishermen. It provides a map with information about facilities at various harbors in Mandarin, English, Indonesian, Filipino and Vietnamese. This is something we don't see abroad. This concept came from our many travels when we always go to check out info about lots of living places and places of recreation. We really hope that these fishermen will be able to find out this information about the boats before they come to Taiwan or while they're here, or indeed, their families can find out about them if they want to. By the end of June 2022, there were 6,995 migrant fishermen officially employed in Taiwan. Officials hope their work will help fishermen integrate with Taiwanese locals and have an easier life in their adopted home.